Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in this video, I have a lot of updates to give you guys. And yes, by a lot, I mean a lot of updates are coming up. First and foremost update, you might have already read that in the title of the video, we finally got an app for Learn Code Online. Now recently I have been busy in making this app and that is why some of my work and YouTube videos did suffer a little bit, not much, not much, a little bit. Uh, but yes, finally we have got an app here. Now the app is right now being rolled out only for the Android and yes, the app for iOS is also almost ready. Uh, but right now I have to figure out some ways to skip uh, the in-app purchase because when you make any transaction from Google Store or Apple Store, in case you don't know that, you have to give a 30% to those guys. So 30% for just a small amount that I'm taking for the courses is really a big deal for me because I'm not being funded by a huge ventures. I don't have any kind of that much funding. All I'm trying to do is make a difference on my own and trying to teach people how the actually programming codes and everything works on. So I'm on my own and still trying to do a lot of things. But whole story short, we finally got an awesome app for Android that you can carry up. Now I'll put the link of the Android app right on the screen as well as in the description section below here as well. So go ahead, uh, the love that you have been showing on my channel, please show some love on the app as well. I would be really, really thankful for all of you if you give, can give some amazing rating to the app as well as some stars. I would be really happy if you can uh, do so. Now that's not just the update. I have a couple of more news for you as well as some tips that is going to increase your productivity and the speed of learning code as well. Now the very first thing that I would like to share is the tip. Tip to enhance the productivity and speed of learning the programming. Now programming is almost similar to math. Now I don't mean by that that you have to do some kind of linear equation or algebraic equation. No, that's a different part. What I mean by that it's similar to the math just like when you used to be in the school and everybody used to say something like that, you don't learn math by seeing how the problem is being solved. You learn the math by actually taking the pen and paper and writing that solution. And that's exactly how you learn programming as well. You don't learn programming by simply just watching the videos that I do in front of you and that's it. No, you are not going to learn it. Probably some of you are going to learn it by that way, but majority of the people are going to learn by writing that code. Now what I recommend to all of you is download the Android app on your mobile phone. Keep that mobile phone on the side and keep your laptop screen in front of you. Whatever I do that in the code, just try to replicate that exactly on your screen. You will realize that your learning speed or learning productivity speed is going to increase at least by 50% and that's a big number. And you, you will be really surprised that you don't have to rewatch the video if you do that once. And that is amazing. So that's my number one tip to all of you guys for increasing your productivity. And basically that's the role of this app. Whatever the course you are going to get there, uh, you can simply just watch them on the go and can do in your laptop. So that's the number one goal of this app. Update number two, which I have already discussed in one of the previous video, that now everything has moved to HTTPS. Now, at first when we launched the things, things were not on the HTTPS because hey, version one is always not so amazing and things get increased and uh, get more amazing as they progress and so we are doing it. So right now, as you can see on the website, now the entire website is on HTTPS version. Now in case you are not able to see that on HTTPS version because probably your cached are not clear or your browser history is forcing it to move on HTTP. I highly recommend to move everything on HTTPS and if your browser is not helping you out, just make sure you forcefully type there HTTPS and the entire website should be running on HTTPS now. So to all those people who were complaining me, hey, HTTPS is not there on your website. Hey, you have my browser says HTTPS is not there and it says the website is not secure. Uh, it's kind of a browser thing, but we finally got rid of that problem and I'm proud on that. Update number three, and this is really an amazing update. Now, we are writing blogs at learncodeonline.in slash blog constantly now at least five times a week and maybe more, sometimes eight or nine times in a week, but at least five times uh, in a week we are writing blogs so that you can consider as almost every single day. 
And these are not just the blog being written for SEO purposes. These are the blog written to enhance the knowledge, giving you special tips about new technology, like for example, wireframing or uh, installing SSL certificate or what is the data structure, importance of the data structure. All these things are sometimes easier to discuss in the blogs. So what I recommend you is to check out the blog almost every single day. We do update it regularly. And what you can do is we have integrated the blog in our Android app as well. So you can just keep that Android app in your phone. And when you wake up in the morning or maybe before hitting uh, gym or might be just commuting through your college or university or to your office, you can just check that blog in your app and you can just read one article and within I, I would say within just five or six minutes, you can learn a new topic or can learn at least about it. Later on, you can explore that a little bit more, but that's a good point of getting updated in the world of technology. So these are basically the most important updates I wanted to share with you about the app, about the HTTPS transformation that we are doing, as well as uh, the updates on the blog. Now for the blog, I would like to thank Arpit because he has been helping me in writing all of those blogs. He is basically our very first intern, of course, paid intern for writing that blog. And he's doing an amazing job in writing that useful articles. He's doing a lot of research in that. So I would highly recommend if you can share Arpit's works at Learn Code Online, share it on your Facebook, show some love to Arpit as well. He's been working really hard for you guys. So show some love for him as well. I would be really, uh, I would really appreciate that. Whole story short, we finally have got updated blog and we have got an Android app as well. Here's the link again and check out the link in the description, download the app and hey, show some love for that app as well. I would be really, really thankful for you for all of the amazing reviews that are about to post. I can expect that. And also notify me in the comments section that uh, if you like the idea, what I'm trying for you to update your knowledge and everything, if you appreciate that, show some love by hitting that like button as well as in the comment section as well. Uh, this is all your love and your all support that is keep me going up with such an amazing speed at this channel. Thank you so much. I wholeheartedly say thank you so much for such a love that you have been showing around. And I really feel special about what, what you have been showing to this channel. I really thank you so much for that. Hey, I just noticed you are new on this channel. If you are new on this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and just join the community of amazing programmers that we have on this channel. Start learning now by hitting that subscribe button.